Hey guys, Chris Allen, Chris Allen Fitness. If you're like me, you might have wondered how strong are the Anderson Fitness Bands or any fitness bands that you have in general. So I devised a couple of ways to test them. Let me show you what I found out. Alright, before I go on, I want to mention the three rules of fitness bands. Rule number one, never pull the band to your face. Rule number two, Never pull the band to your face. And rule number three, never stretch the band more than three times its length. Undersun has five different levels of fitness bands. They are named extra light, light, medium, heavy, and extra heavy. As to why they didn't go extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, like shirt sizes, you got me on that one. Per their website, this is how much resistance they have. The extra light is between 5 and 15 pounds, light 15 to 25, medium is 30 to 60, heavy is 45 to 100, and extra heavy is 50 to 120. And I have this, a Wasis, Wasis, not sure how to pronounce it, band, that I'm going to test as well, which clearly is bigger or wider, at least in the Undersun. So here's the first way I devised to test these. Now, an Undersun Fitness band is 41 inches long per their website. And just so happens the top of my rack is 84 inches, so almost double. So I decided I'll wrap this around the top of it, step on it, and then step on a scale, and how much less I weigh will equal about how much weight this is taking off, and thus demonstrate how much force is required to stretch the band, basically double in distance. Because essentially, I'm going to be stretching this thing about seven feet long, and it's about three and a half feet normally. So I would just step on it, and then step on a scale. And here's the results that I get from stretching the band seven feet, 84 inches about, and stepping on a scale. The extra light, I weighed eight and a half pounds less, 17.2 less for the light, medium was 25 pounds, heavy was 40, extra heavy was 66, and the WASS band, had me weighing 89 pounds less. But then I got to thinking, what if I'm doubling it up? Does it still work the same? So I devised a test to see what doubling up of the band would do compared to just stretching it singularly. The reason that I'm interested in doubling it up is my current escalation density training protocol has me doing a horizontal push and a horizontal row. I was doing bench presses and then immediately doing bend over, bent over, chest supported, dumbbell rows. And my low back was bothering me a bit, so I wanted to find a way to still do a horizontal row, but with very little pressure on my low back. So I figured I'd do this. Wrap the undersun band around this hole in my cage here. Stand over here, lean up against this chest pad to minimize my lower back involvement, and then row. But my question was, how much is this? All right. I came up with another way to measure how strong an Undersun Fitness Band is. I'm using this. It's a fish scale. I got this on Amazon for about 15 bucks. You can probably find cheaper ones or more expensive ones. I'll put a link in the description to where to get this if you're interested in a fish scale. Let me show you the setup I'm going to use to measure the bands here. So this is my basic setup. I got the band doubled up around the barbell and my fish scale here and as I pull on the fish scale, you'll see the tension will rise. So now it's at nine pounds to stretch it to 17 inches. So here is me going and measuring the Anderson bands with the fish scale. I did all five bands. The extra light band, when I pulled it to 150%, was 10 pounds. And when I pulled it to 200% of its length, it was 16 pounds. The light band was 20 pounds at 150% of the length and 30 pounds at 200%. The medium, 150%, 30 pounds, 45 pounds at 200%. The heavy was 50 pounds at 150% and at 200% it was 75 pounds. And the extra heavy was 86 pounds at 150% and the fish scale maxes out at 110 pounds so it aired out. However, there appears to be a predictable pattern here. Whatever the resistance is at 150%, it's 50% more when you go to 200%. So in the example of the light, 
20 pounds went to 30 pounds and for the medium 30 pounds went to 45 pounds. So based on that, the extra heavy band stretched to double its distance would be approximately 129 pounds. All right, so I've determined that to stretch this around this side and pull it till it's even with here is going to require about 120 pounds of total force or roughly the equivalent of doing a bent over dumbbell roll with two 60 pound dumbbells.